Hey, what's up guys? Andy here, and today I've got another unboxing for you. I ordered from MechanicalKeyboards.com a Ducky Shine 6. Um, I ordered a couple other things with it, but uh, we'll deal with those in a later video. Um, obviously you don't need a knife to get into the keyboard here, but I needed to open the box. I literally just pulled it out of the box just to speed things up a little. So, I ordered this Ducky Shine 6. I'm going to pull this off here just to get out of the way. I ordered this Ducky Shine 6 to replace my Corsair K70 that I recently sold on r slash mech market over on Reddit. Um, I got sick of the browns and I wanted something a little bit heavier. I think my next board I might try something with clears, but I went with blues because I've really been liking blues like I had on the Ducky 1 TKL that we unboxed here. The box is above my head. You can check that unboxing and uh, review for that matter. You can check those out over here. So, anyway, this is the Ducky Shine 6. So, let's get to it, shall we? So, the Shine 6, uh, there's nothing special with it. It comes in a similar looking box to the other Ducky products, like the Ducky 1 box above my head. Back, it just has specs. It's got um, dimensions, all that sort of stuff. It's got the switch thing on the side. Um, it's got the Airshine 6 logo on the end and their website on the side here. Other than that, nothing much. So if we undo the two little flaps on the bottom and open it up, we find inside we've got our standard manual and our registration card along with another one of their ducky themed key pullers which is a uh, really nice touch um i, I do like the uh, ducky theme to it purely aesthetic obviously um so we've got the keyboard itself and then off to the side we have an alternate space bar i wasn't sure off the top of my head if it came with one but i think i remember seeing somewhere that it did come with one um this is the ppt keyboard by the way the Ducky one that I got, um, it's an ABS one because when I ordered from Mechanical Keyboards, they either, I don't remember, they either didn't have the PPT one in stock or they didn't offer it altogether. Fortunately, I only use it for a few hours a day during school, four days a week, and I cart that around. So there isn't much shine on it. It's just starting to shine now, even though I ordered it like four months ago and I've been using it for four months. Um, so it comes with an alternate space bar with the Ducky logo and 2016 on it, because I believe the Shine 6 was released last year. And this fancy little graphic. Um, other than that, the stock one actually isn't much. The Ducky one had a little Ducky logo on the front of it, but this one just has the set of dots on it. So this is the Shine 6. I got it in black. It doesn't come with the fancy two-stage feet like the one did. It just has a set of rubber feet to angle it somewhat. Um, nothing much back here, standard four dip switches, micro USB, and a little serial sticker or whatever. Um, so as I said, this is the PDT set. It does have four extra keys though. It's got a calculator button, volume down and up, and mute, which is really cool. It doesn't have media keys, but I should be able to bind it with macros. It also comes with a cable with, interestingly enough, a pink Velcro strap, not that it matters. Um, well, it's actually kind of red, but whatever. Um, this is the mount it looks like for the mouse bungee. Uh, you should be able to mount that on either side. And what it does is it just kind of sits here and it lets you run your mouse cable or your mouse cord through it. And then it kind of holds it up and keeps it out of the way so it doesn't get like tangled with all the other stuff, which is a uh, kind of a neat little thing. I might use it. I might not. I'm not sure. Um, this is a little bracket for it. So, the keyboard itself comes with their textured keycaps, and right off the bat, it's a complete difference to the Ducky one that I'm using, just because that started to shine and these still have their texture. I ordered PPT because I wanted to keep the texture. Um, so it is RGB, and it should be fully programmable, similarly to the Ducky one, if not the same. Uh, it comes with 
I think their website said Ducky Macro 1.5, but the online version of the manual, the PDF version of the manual said 2.0. I'm not sure entirely what it says in here. Um, but it looks like 2.0. Um, yeah, I think I'm seeing 2.0 out of this. Maybe. Yeah, it does come with Ducky Macro V2. So the website's a little bit out of date here, which is the same macro version that came with the Ducky one. So I should be able to do everything here. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head how many layers there were. Um, if it's anything similar to the Ducky one, there should be six layers, five of which are macro enabled. Um, and it looks to me, on uh, the Ducky one, I could program alphanumeric keys except for space. It was literally just the letters, actually. It wasn't even alphanumeric. But it looked like, at least on their website, which was the outdated copy, um, it looked like there were a few more keys that I could work with, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, they do have a software, though, starting with the Shine 6, that lets you set all this stuff with software, as opposed to going through and doing it all on board, which gives you a little bit more customization as far as RGB lighting goes, um, because you can pick the color directly as opposed to toggling through like the eight steps per color or whatever that they offer with onboard because it would be ridiculous to have 256 steps as your function hitting your keys to toggle through for each separate color. Um, but other than that, nothing much. Um, I haven't used it yet because obviously I just pulled out of the box on camera here. Um, but if I recall correctly from my understanding, the application should be able to store absolutely everything on board. Unlike Corsair's Q, which I was using with the K70, where it had to remain running for things like macros and lighting effects for like when you tap on a key. Everything on the Ducky keyboard should be built inside and the application isn't like a layer that needs to run to enable some of that stuff. It's just an alternate way to program as opposed to using the built-in stuff. So, I guess there's not really much else to it. Um, that's about all I've got for you today, I guess. So, you know the drill. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that other button. Uh, leave a comment down below if you've ever used the Shine 6 or if you have your own opinions on it. And actually, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about the Ducky Shine 6 software application. It might have to run in the background. I don't know. From my understanding, I didn't think it did, but I could be wrong because I haven't used it yet. So, um, I'm going to play with it a little bit later. So. I'll find out probably before you tell me anyway. But you guys know the drill. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to ANT Tech Tips for more videos like this one.